everybody, this is Chad. That's a nice, big, fat, juicy Aptasia right there. It's a, kind of beautiful, actually. It's too bad that they're pests, because they are kind of attractive little living things. Um, but that particular one, regardless of how big and attractive it is, is one that we're going to kill. <clears throat> now, I had been doing a video series on how to kill Aptasia in your tank. I got to the video on peppermint shrimp, and there I have stopped. And that's for a very good reason. The peppermint shrimp are so effective that I ran out of Aptasia. So I put some in my little 20 gallon tank. I didn't want to put them back in the main tank because it's literally free of them. So they're easy to find. You can get them just about anywhere uh, on rocks and from people. So anyway, here it is growing. This particular one came out of someone's sump. And where we were in the process was using lemon juice, this stuff right here, to kill them. And you just get cheap, great value stuff, the lemon juice from Concentrate. Uh, not lime juice. Lime juice doesn't have the acidity and it doesn't seem to work. So you just pour a little bit of the uh, juice in a bowl and then you suck it up in a syringe. Um, just a typical syringe that diabetics use and that's actually where I got this one from is from someone who I know who has diabetes and uh, you just suck it up and uh, we're gonna show exactly um, how to do it and what some of the problems are with doing it so give me a minute to uh, load up the syringe and I will be right back juice always smells really good you don't need a lot of it depending on how much Aptasia you're going to do. So, just kind of put some in the bowl, like that. And then you've got your little syringe. And I'm not sure that I can do this one-handed. So, give me just a sec, and I'm going to load it up. There it is. And just like you see on the uh, movies, squirt out just a little bit to make sure that you don't have any air. All right, and then we're going to head on over to the tank. All right, so now I think you can immediately see some of the difficulties with doing this because, you know, that's down in the tank. There are other Aptasia, but I want to try and find and get a difficult one. And the second difficulty that you're going to have is the fact that Aptasia are alive, and as soon as I stab it with this, it's going to recoil. So the idea is to try and get the hypodermic needle right in the mouth and e inject the lemon juice so that it goes down into the central column. Now if you can get down to the central column it is possible that you can inject it right there and that will work too but that's a really hard place to get to and even though it looks open on this one once I get in the tank then that's not really gonna work. So let's get down in there and you do have to move pretty quick and it's even harder when you're trying to film it. Now you see how he automatically, look at that, he retracted. And so that, that's really a failed attempt. So I'm going to show these guys here. They're, little, they're on the sand and they don't have anywhere to go. So you can stab them. don't like my hand in there so you know when you have a grubby tank and you've got a bunch of Aptasia that's one way you can take care of it but as you can see it's not the greatest way because that big juicy guy is now out of our reach so this method will work but it is limited so I would say if you have one or two Aptasia that is on the glass or someplace where you know you can get to it fine. In this tank, I let it grow, so you can see, you know, they're everywhere. Just like they were in the other tank. And eventually I'll get rid of them in this tank, the same way I did in the other one, by putting peppermint shrimp in it. But I just wanted to show you the lemon juice method. It works. 100% works. It will kill them. It is inexpensive to do, and the least expensive of all the methods to get rid of them, by far. You, you just, and, and a lot of times you can get a hypodermic from your doctor for free or whatever, and you only need one and it lasts forever. 
because you can just cap it off and start all over again after rinsing it. It's not like a hypodermic that people have to, you know, use one. You can kill lots of Aptasia with it. Anyway, so that is the lemon juice method. And like I said, it isn't the greatest method in the world. It works if you have one or two. But if you've got a tank full of them or if they're in crevices of rocks, just good luck going for it. But that that's the method. Um, use it Use it if you want. Again, the peppermint shrimp method is going to work the best. After this video, we're going to go ahead and do the Aptasia X method, which is a more expensive method than this one, but a better method. And just real briefly, the way it works is by feeding the anemone uh, something that they don't want to eat. Um, well, they want to eat it, but it's not good for them. So I'll show you that in uh, the next video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being patient. We had to let some Aptasia grow so that we could play with them. Thank you.